Hello guys, welcome back again. And this time around, I want to talk about a game that hasn't appeared on a console uh, for a while. And that was because the company went defunct in 2012. And that is Bomberman. Now Bomberman has been around, you know, since very what, early in the NES uh, age. And he's been around, a character who's been around on and off since then. On Dreamcast and many other consoles. And so basically, you know, when Konami acquired Hudson Soft, uh, and basically shut them down. Uh, one of the questions was, where are all the properties going to go? Because you know, Hudson Soft had a very long history, and they had you know some games that people love, maybe like Adventure Island, you know, Bomberman, and so people wondered what was going to happen with these properties, and and were upset when Konami shut them down. I sure was one, because Hudson Soft, especially in my childhood around the NES games, made a lot mean a lot to me. I mean, I I played those games a lot and had a lot of fun with them. And so basically, what has happened is. Basically, in Japan, Simply Tile Bomberman has appeared in Japan's Google Play and App Store, a courtesy of Konami. Uh, basically, uh, it, this doesn't bother with any story mode. Instead, just basically offers the uh, classic style of competitive mode. A uh, single battle pitch your wits against a CPU-controlled opponent, while battle with everyone lets you, uh, lets you up to four players, uh, you know, vi via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection, play against each other. And then uh, Bomber Coliseum plays like a time attack mode, where you basically face off against CPUs and unlock box character characters by defeating them. This game is basically free in Japan. There is basic, but there is the presence of in-app purchases, which uh, has Konami has yet to share these what these are in the game, and they have not you know announced anything for this game outside of Japan. But again, Bomberman is a game that a lot of people universally love. Or have played over the years and uh, hopefully this comes over here uh, you know to our, our to uh, to all the uh, around the world and hopefully it shows up for all mobile devices whether it be Apple or, or, or Android so that people can play it because to me this this game it makes no sense why this isn't out everywhere uh, now again what are the in-app purchases uh, that's a question is it something that's basically gonna break the game or give you an unfair advantage of course uh, that's the question that comes to mind, but again, a lot of people had wondered where is Bomberman, where is the stuff that Hudson Soft did, and clearly, like a lot of things in Japan, uh, it's going mobile because mobile is becoming a big thing over there, or is a big thing over there, and so that's why you're going to see some of these classic franchises that game developers don't feel are going to do very well today uh, in the market. Even though, quite honestly, if you made this game for you know the cell phones and you could put it port it obviously to to the you know uh, Nintendo's store and you could put a you know, Xbox Live store and PlayStation 4 store for really cheap people would buy it and again putting it on there would not cost you a lot right compared to a physical release so it is a, a surprise that right now it's Japan only and hopefully it's announced over here so what do you think about the fact that Bomberman is back that they are Clearly, Konami is going to, I guess, still roll out the Hudson Soft stuff. It appears, possibly, to mobile devices. And would you play this if it actually uh, went to the mobile device you could play it on? I know I definitely would play it. I, I like Bomberman. It's a lot of fun. Just like when Sega brought Crazy Taxi out uh, for my iPhone, I played that. Uh, actually, on the iPad. It's a lot of fun. What was it Sonic Rush? I played some of that on, on uh, the iPad. What else have I played on the iPad? That, uh, but just games like that, you know, I, I would definitely uh, play Bomberman. And uh, I would love to, you know, they need to play multiplayer where you can actually play online against other people instead of uh, locally. But we'll see. Anyway, what do you think of it, guys? Are you interested in it? Are you not interested? Love to hear you guys' opinions like always. Thanks for liking, favoring, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it, guys. And I will talk to you guys soon for another video.